Mm -hmm. Alright guys, uh, today we're just gonna look at farm mm -hmm. memories by Wilbur Suit. Uh, we got the cable on Fred Ford and we're just gonna play exactly how Wilbur actually plays in the actual song. I'm gonna break down each and every part and I will be glad if somebody actually provides the timestamps uh, so that uh, it's gonna be helpful for the others. So if you provide the timestamp, I'm gonna pin your comment. Alright, I'm gonna break down each and every part of the song section by section so you it in the most easiest way possible so put the capo on the fourth fret of your guitar the guitar has to be in the stand chaining properly tuned let's get started if i talk about the song uh, we actually start off with the intro uh then we have this verse then we got the chorus then we have a verse and then we got the chorus and that chorus the second chorus which is the last chorus of the song is actually having some strumming So there's some easy strumming pattern out there, otherwise the rest of the song we have this nice finger picking going on. I'm gonna provide each and every part with the tabs and one thing which you're gonna notice is if you see every tab gonna follow one pattern, keep that in mind. Each and every tab gonna follow one pattern which will be actually like diagonally and they will be parallel with each other. Get it? What I said, it's gonna be diagonally and they will be parallel with each other. So, let's get started. I'm actually using my thumb to hit the top E string, then for the A string, and then also for the D string. Index finger for the G string, middle finger for the B string, ring finger for the high E string, right? So, I'm jumping straight into the intro induction. We start off with a G major chord. We have middle finger on third fret of the top E string, ring finger on third fret of the B string, Index on the second fret of the A string, open D, open G, don't need to bother about the high E string. So we plug the top E and the B string as you guys can see in the tab. Then we plug the D string, then the G string, then the A string, then the B string, then the D string, then the G string. And I want you guys to just give yourself two minutes practicing this one pattern on the G major chord for a couple of times. As I told you, this pattern repeated for all the chords only uh, the bass note will be changing. So we got slower. Got it? Practice, pause the video practice. Now we're gonna try out this exact same pattern on the A minor seven chord, which is index on the B string first fret and your middle finger on the D string second fret. Top E string major, open A, open G, and open high E. We're gonna plug the A and the B, uh, B string since the B string is now on the A string, open A. So we got. Let me play D, G, then A, then B, then D, G. I told you it's the same pattern. So we got. Right? And now we're gonna move on to a C major 7 chord, which is mute on the E, ring on the third fret of the A, middle finger on the second fret of the D, open G, open B, open high E. This is just a little bit different because we have a small hammer on in this part. So we plug the A string and the B string. Then you hit the D string. Then you play the open G string. Then we hit the A string. Then open B string. And then we do the small hammer on from open to second on the D string. Like this. And you hit the G string. Again you play A string. Then the B string. Then hammer on from open to second on the D string. Then G string. And then you just remove your middle finger, make it open on the D string, you hit the A string, then the B string, then open D, open G. So the C major 7 part, if you see, it sounds like this. Right? So that's, that's how it actually sounds, the first line of the intro. Now the second line, have a look at it, it's pretty same but uh, the only change is basically on the C major 7 chord. You don't have to play that C major 7. So let me just break down. We start off with the normal G major, 7, a G major chord, A minor 7. And then you just plug the E string 3rd fret on the B string open on the C major 7 chord. And then you play 3, 3, 3, 3 
open so 1 2 3 4 5 or 4 and that will drop us so we got 1 2 3 4 and that's it that was the intro and if i played all together it gonna sound like this All right. Now we're going to move on to the verse and uh it's pretty same. Uh the first line of the intro which we learned right now. Have a look at it. We're just going to play that six times for the first verse. So we got Ah uh, four more times. Let me play it for you. All right. After playing it for six times, we're just gonna move on to the next line of the verse, which is uh. If you have a look at it, it's basically the last line. Uh, it's basically the last line of the introduction, which we just learned. We're just gonna play that once after we finish off with the first verse. So you see, the intro and the verse was likely same. Uh we played the first line of the introduction six times for the verse and we played the last line of the introduction once and here we just end the first verse now we are in the chorus we're going to start off with this line which is again the first line of the intro so if you just match the intro you're likely um actually you're going to be able to play the full song i mean 80% of the song not 80 80 but it may be uh, same five so we got this g major chord starting off on the chorus same thing A minor seven, and now the only change we have for the C major seven chord it is it kind of turns into a C sus two major seven. This sounds hard, but this is actually easier than the C major seven chord. So we're just gonna have third fret on the A string, and that's it. We're gonna play the exact same pattern, but you don't need to do the hammer on. So we plug the A string. So just start off from that notation where we got three and open, three on the A, open on the B string. From there, I'm starting three on the A, open on the B string. Open D, open G, third fret on the A, then open B, then D, then G, and repeat that another time. Repeat that twice. So we got pluck. That was basically the first line of the chorus. And if I just play. So, one, two, three. Right, and now for the second line of the chorus, we're gonna play the first line of the introduction again. So again, it's repeated a quite a number of times. But so the after finishing up with that line, we are playing uh, the first part first. tap of the intro twice so we got and see how many times it actually repeat come on time mr7 again mr after playing it twice we are into the uh, next line of the chorus which is uh, again the line which we just learned for the chorus before hand which means that part which you just learned where the c major 7 chord was turned into a c major 7 sus 2 which means you're going to hit the d string open so let me just play that one more time for to clear it out right this line and now it actually kind of turns a little bit different it actually turns different so now what we're doing we are actually having first fret on the b string First fret on the top E string. We are plucking the E and B, then D, then G, then E, then B, then D, then G. 
So again, the same pattern. And then we have our F major chord. We got one on the E, three on the A, three on the D, two on the G, one on the B. We are plucking the E and B string together. Then we are playing the D, the G, then A, then B, then D, then G. So we got. Right? And then we have this C slash G major chord. So for this chord, you need to have your ring and your pinky on third fret up top E and A. Then you got your middle finger on D string second fret, open G and your index on B string first fret and open high E string, which doesn't really matter for the song. So we are playing the top E and B together, then D, then G, then A, then B, then D, then G. Right? So we got and then we move on to a G major chord, which is nothing but just having 3rd fret on the E string, 2nd fret on the A string and rest all open. So you're going to plug the top E and B, then D, G, then top E, then B, then D, G. And the next line, you're going to just play. So the next line, if you see uh, the F, this F chord is there and then we have this F major chord if you have a look at the tab then we have a C slash G but we don't really play the G major chord like we did played before for the uh, line just we learned right now we don't play it like that we just plug the top E and B string and let that line end over there right don't worry, I'm going to play the whole chorus together. The chorus is a part where there's a lot of thing going on. But when you strum the chorus for the second chorus, it's going to be a little bit more understandable. So now we're just going to have a look at this line. Last line of the chorus. We plug the top E and B string. Same pattern on the G major chord. Then same pattern on the A minor 7. And then you plug the A on the B string open. A string third fret, B string open. And then ta, 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 ta. That's it, and that's basically the chorus. So let me just play it from the beginning. Just give me a minute, playing it real slow for you. This is the first line. Hammer on. Repeat. Same thing. Come to that uh, that part of the line. Same thing. C major sus two. Then we have the F, and over here we got. Last line. Just messed up a little bit on the last line, but the last line is pretty easy. Now we have the time for the verse two. It's again the same line which we learned for the introduction. If you see, I'll repeat that twice. Hammer on, hammer on. G, M R S. So we repeat it that twice. And now the next line which we have uh, is again the same thing. That's it. That's it for the first two. And now for the chorus, things gonna be more clear right now. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow the previous line which we played. We're gonna keep that in mind, that part we played. C major 2. And also that part F, C slash G, G. But over here we are more into a strummed version which will put us. And the strumming pattern is basically a down, down up, up, down up. 
repeat down down up up down up so we actually start up and the first two lines sound like this we hold the g major chord we're gonna mute the high e string for the g major chord so we got three two open open three muted we're gonna do down down up up down up a minor seven we're gonna go for down down up up down up then c major seven just a normal c major seven down down up up down up twice Then the next line, we're gonna do the exact same thing, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do this. I add my pinky on the third fret of the high E string on the C major seven chord, and I play that. And sometimes I do lift it, which is actually the end going in the song. So let me just play the first two lines for you. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, G. A minor seven, C major seven. Add the third fret on the high E string. All right. So that was basically the first two lines. And now this line over here, which we have, is again having a G chord. A minor seven. And the same thing which we just played right now. So we're gonna play that twice. In simple words, we're gonna play that twice. So we're gonna. right so after playing that twice so what we have we played this thing normally c major 7 twice and after that we are playing it and then we're just doing this third fret on the high e string or we're playing that one two three times so if you add up it's gonna be four times all the way with a g a minor 7 and then c major 7 right so that's pretty easy now you're just gonna move on to the f chord where we have just open E I'm sorry first fret on the E first fret on the B and rest all open we're gonna strum down down up up down up and F major which is 1 3 3 2 1 open down down up up down up C slash G down down up up down up G major where we got open high E string as well as open B string so that's how it works and we're gonna play that twice we're gonna play that twice and after that uh, we're gonna strum the D, uh, F chord with that open E open uh, sorry open A open D open G open high E top E first fret once then we're gonna do down down up then we're gonna strum the F major chord once and then we're gonna do down down up and then we're gonna strum a C slash G once and then we're gonna just plug the E D G B of the G major chord like this so from the beginning if I play we start off with G Minor seven, C major seven, G major, minor seven. Time to add the high E string for it. Last time. all right so that was basically that uh chorus uh we've got a lot of strumming over here and now we are to the last part of the song which is the outro the introduction right so over here we're gonna play The first line of the intro so the outro equal to the outro i mean the outro equal to the intro so we play the first line of the intro we're gonna play that twice so we're gonna play that all the way twice and after playing that we're gonna play and we're gonna end that song over there so we're gonna play g a minor 7 normally then we're just gonna plug a string third fret b string open on the c major 7 chord and that's it so let me play that full outro for you guys guys that's the whole song uh let me know what other song you just want to learn by Wilbur Suit. i actually have a playlist where i got all the songs of Wilbur Suit covered so if you just want to check out you just go it's there on my channel and i hope this video helps you out if you haven't subscribed make sure you do so it's gonna help my channel a lot so make sure you subscribe and bye